your weekly view of young leaders taking big steps. This is NextGen. Presented by PFI, home of Voo Daddy. It's National FFA Week and FFA members all across the country are doing their part to share their love for the FFA in agriculture. We're here at Logan Rogersville High School to see the unique way they're celebrating. So Chrissy, we're in your classroom here and you're the ag teacher at Logan Rogersville. Mm -hmm. Tell me a little bit about uh, your chapter here. As you know, the Logan Rogersville area has become more and more urban area. Um, but with that being said, it's still a very traditional agricultural program. You know, um, technology and agriculture culture is ever changing, um, but we still try to instill um, the leadership and values in these kids as we did, um, you know, years ago. Um, some of the things that we have done that the students and I really take pride in, um, we go to and we do the food harvest and the kids are able to give back to the community. Uh, we've gone and they've planted gardens, and they've gone and um, put boxes together, you know, for the less fortunate or homeless or anything like that. And it's really neat to see the kids give back. Um, they thoroughly enjoy that. And also you get to um, teach them what it means to be part of the FFA, the National FFA Organization, and I understand that it's FFA Week. Take me through what that means um, at the national level. Okay. So FFA Week is the third week of February every year. Um, it's where over 600,000 FFA members and chapters come together and do different activities. Um, they're advocating for agriculture. You know, we're trying to, to uh, reach the communities and the families and the students and say, hey, you know, this is what FFA members do. Um, we'll take them into the community. They give back. Um, they'll do community service and things like that. We, of course, take them to do a lot of fun activities as well. But our goal is to reach out and grab other, other students and, you know, show them how much fun that we have and hopefully that they would like to join our FFA chapter. As Mrs. Smith has shared with us, it's FFA week here and your chapter is doing um, a lot to celebrate FFA week. So let's talk about um, the tradition of Tractor Day and what it means to uh, take pride in your agricultural heritage and drive those tractors even in the rain to school. Yeah, well like um, it started um, before 1980 and it's just like, it's just to show like what our FFA members like really like do like. It like gives them like a chance to really show and represent the whole movement of agriculture and to show like their passion not just for FFA but for agriculture in a whole like for farming and everything to be the future farmers of America and it's just like that extra just like little showy like hey like I'm dedicated I'm ready for this I'm ready for my future in this, in this industry and I'm ready to learn more. So what is the overall goal as your officers have planned this week out in advance, the goal to um, you know, share with the fellow students here at your high school? Our goal is to really like just put it out there like um, FFA, like yes, we have fun, we farm, we do contests. Some of that stuff isn't appealing to people. But like when we do FFA week, it's to really show that we can have fun. Like we, we're not just about cows and plows. We are about forming a leadership and a team and a really good organization that leads to um, success and not just farming. Like there's um, ag business and stuff that you can get into, sales, welding. And it's just like a whole thing, like, it's not just about, like, being a farmer because we have a couple officers who aren't farmers. And that's totally okay. They're just in it for the experience to become leaders and good communicators and be successful businessmen and women. And it's really, you know, focused on um, not just uh, what it means to be an FFA and, and be a leader in the organization, but understanding, um, you know, you gave the example of your Ag 1 students, you know, not understanding where their clothes come from, but really getting that, that uh, foundation of agriculture. Um, share a little a bit about what you guys have done this week and some examples of maybe some aha moments for students this year. Okay. So we're ending today with Tractor Day and a lot of the kids, you know, they've never been on a tractor um, and so the whole school got to see them parked in front and, and that was that was very neat. We started FFA Week um, Sunday and we went to um, Henderson Baptist Church this is something that uh, Rogersville and I think several other chapters do every every year and we get to go visit a church and um, the kids wear their official dress and they really take that seriously. I think they actually enjoy wearing it, you know. Um, I have a sign in my classroom that says 
Um, nowhere on this jacket does it say where I can end up, you know, and this is where I started. And FFA just gives them so many different opportunities and it really teaches them leadership um, to be able to be a part of this organization.